All right, I'm going to show you how to do a lot line drawing and extrude in uh, CAD, Autodesk 123 Design, and uh, I'm also going to show you how to use extrude uh, to cut into things. So we're going to use it both. Uh, we're going to use it both ways, uh, if you will. So first thing we're going to do here, let's let's pretend we're making a little car. Um, so you might be tempted to use your sketch stuff here, and this stuff works out all right depending on your application, but uh, most of the time you're actually going to be better off just starting making a line drawing. And I'm going to show you why here. Okay, so this is my rectangle. It's going to be 75 by 15. Click on that. Oh, escape. Let's get out of there. Uh, click here. Now I'm going to extrude it. Okay, so this is the first thing you should know is that in, uh, in 123 Design, if you click on a shape, this little gear pops up and it has some of your most commonly used functions there, including move, scale, extrude, sweep, revolve, loft, and that's all fantastic functions. Extrude is right here. We're just going to stick with extrude for now. So from here, you have the option of either grabbing this arrow, which you can't see terribly well, so we can grab this arrow and pull up. And as we pull up, you can see that the measurement changes off to the side here. Or we can simply just type a measurement into this box right here, and it will automatically go to that extruded height. Okay. Now from here, I need to make a little place for my person to sit. So what I could do is I could take something like a circle. I could sketch a circle here. Again, it's not going to... So I can click here... I'm going to make a circle. Let's just make it that big just for the sake of the demonstration here. And then I'm going to move my circle. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to use my move function. Uh, and again, you can so you can move this in any direction you want. So I'm moving this into the middle of my uh, vehicle here. See how it's right there in the middle of my vehicle? Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to move it up. My bad. Here, let's move this up to here. There we go. Okay, now I can use it to extrude up from here. Now watch what I can do here. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go again to extrude. And I'm going to, in this case, uh, I could again just pull this up or I can just type something in here. So I'm going to type in 40. Now when it turns red like that, that means it's cutting into another object. As you can see here, it has sliced into my rectangle. Okay, now I hit enter, and there you have it. Oh, looky there. That's pretty cool. It's starting to look not exactly like a car, but, you know, more than the actual rectangle was. But this is not a very good way to do this. There's a very uh, much easier way to do this, and this involves just using the polyline tool. So polyline is fantastic. Uh, highly polyline and spline are probably my favorites to start things with. So from here, uh, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to use the polyline tool. So from here, boom, 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 boom. Now I'm going to stop. I'm going to exit mode. And I'm going to come back up here. And this time I'm going to grab the three-point arc tool. Click right here. Now you see how you get these little green boxes around stuff in 123 Design. This lets you know that you're selecting a point, which means it's going to connect to this other drawing and form a whole object, which is very important. If I'm over here... See how I don't get those little green boxes? You want to make sure you're clicking on a green box. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, specify the first point of the arc, which is here. Then it says specify the end point of the arc, which is going to be over here. And then the middle point of the arc is going to be right here. Now I am done. I exit out of there. I go back to my sketch tool, and I'm going to complete this. So once again, I make sure that I'm clicking on a little green box. Edit sketch. Specify first point. Specify second point. And voila! And it turns this light blue color to let me know that I have formed a completed object, which I can now extrude. So now I just click on this, go over to the extrude function, and once again, I could just pull up on this little arrow that you can see right there. Or I can just type 40 into my box right here. So I'm just going to type a 4 right there. Voila! Hit enter. And now I have the same shape. Only, well, I mean, slightly different, obviously, because it's slightly different measurement there. But again, I could have made this a deeper circle if I wanted to. And it's much more precise because I'm doing everything the exact way I want it to start with instead of sort of guessing and then cutting into it. So it's kind of the difference between additive manufacturing or subtractive manufacturing. 
you can do both things with extrude. They can both be equally useful. It just kind of depends on your application. So there you have it. There's a real quick introduction into using extrude in a couple of different ways. Uh, also using your, your polyline tools there. And there you have it.